Do you want to guarantee that emails from important customer or online service will not land in spam or junk folder? My name is Szymon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. I will show you how to bypass spam filters for the specific domain. Office 365 with Exchange Online provides very good quality of the spam filters and security features around the mailing solutions but from time to time there will be false positive reaction and some maybe important emails could land in spam or junk folder. If you have very important customer or online service that provides the information based on online application which cannot land in the spam folder because of its importance, you can exclude that kind of domain, whitelist, save list that kind of address to be sure that will never be blocked by security features behind Office 365 at Exchange Online platform. This is very simple solution. I will show you how to whitelist that kind of domain and guarantee that important emails will be delivered to members of your organizations. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you would like to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe the channel. And now we will move out to my screen. If you're working on Office 365 and you want to add specific domain of your customer or any important sender that's sending some emails to your organization, to be sure that this kind of emails will not land in the spam or junk folder, you need to go to the admin center of Exchange Online and then create the rule that will bypass the spam filter. This is very easy. The only thing you need to do is to go to Mayflow and the rules. In the rules, you will need to create the new rule that will bypass spam filtering. Of course, you need to set up the name of the rule and to whom it will apply. And this is quite important element because you need to set that the sender domain is equal to the specific address. If you want to add this address as a sender to bypass the spam filters, add it and save the rule. You can see it is super easy. After two, three minutes, the rule will be applied in your organization. Thanks to that, all emails from chosen domain will never land in spam or junk folder on your user's email boxes. This is quite important. Another scenario that you can met is the situation where you're using any kind of online service like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp or any other that's sending emails in behalf of you. And if you will be included or your users will be included in that kind of email communication, you don't want to be excluded. Recognize that kind of email as a spam. To add the rule that will cover that, again, create the new rule that will bypass the spam filtering. But in this case, select the message header includes any of these words. In the setup of this rule, use return path parameter as a header and use the domain of the service you are using as a word that should be included there. In this case, it will be MailChimp.com. Add this address, set up the rule. The only thing again you need to do is to save it. Thanks to that, all emails sent by MailChimp service. Again, you can see this is very wide rule, but this is the way how you can save yourself from perspective of saving important emails, maybe sent by that kind of service to be recognized false positively as a, any kind of spam or junk messages. You can see the setup of this kind of rules is very easy. So before you will do that, prepare yourself to do not overuse that kind of solution. Remember, spam filters are something that helping you. So do not turn them off by adding thousands of records in here. As you can see, whitelisting the domain in Exchange Online is very simple. This is just one rule that you need to add there. But I would like to highlight that it's important to do not overuse that kind of solution. If you want to add any kind of domain or online service to the safe list and bypass security features or bypass the spam filters, limit that only to the key addresses, key domains. In the end, all security and spam filters in the background are there because of the reason. 
it's because to save your users from any possible attacks, phishing or unwanted emails. In the other videos on the channel, you will see also how to help your users to recognize phishing attacks using external sender warning message. Also very simple solution that you can add on the exchange online. Check the channel. There's also a lot of additional videos you probably would like. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode.